Level 18. Lesson 3. Ao estudar sotaques diferentes, estamos também estudando as diferenças culturais e como isso afeta a maneira de falar. Vamos ver uma cena curtinha da série Seinfeld. O personagem com o sotaque britânico corrige a personagem com o sotaque americano. Ao dizer que de onde ele vem, no caso, no Reino Unido, é mais comum e educado usar pardon ao invés de what? 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 Yeah, what? Where I come from, we don't say what. It's proper to say pardon. Proper. Proper. Pardon. Pardon. Pardon? Nothing. Isso mostra que, além do sotaque em si, as palavras e expressões usadas em diferentes culturas podem variar. E, a propósito, o inglês britânico é excelente para quem não consegue pronunciar o R caipira. Lembrando que você encontra o curso completo no site www.abcfluent.com. Sprout Schools, Part 3. Now that you know who you are, you can take the letters representing extroversion, introversion, Sensing, intuition, thinking, feeling, judging and perceiving and form your type, say ESTJ. What that means becomes clear when we look at the 16 personality types. ESTPs enjoy being around people and focus on the here and now. Their minds are quick, intelligent and outspoken. Good at reading others, they can solve complex problems. Routines bore them, and they see rules as recommendations. They are often called doers. ESTJs prefer things settled and are not interested in abstract ideas. They value security and are also known as guardians. At work, they are capable of organizing, getting things done, and are loyal colleagues who don't miss small, important details. To keep things neat, they want everyone to follow the protocol. Vocabulary Part 1 Abstract Abstract Subjective Subjective. Capable. Capable. Colleague. Colleague. Complex. Complex. Doers. Doers. Neat. Neat. Outspoken. Outspoken. Protocol. Protocol. Recommend. Recommend. Recommendation. Recommendation. Represent. Represent. Bore. Bore. Talent. Talent. Presence. Presence. Aspect. Aspect. Introverted. Introverted. Extroverted. Extroverted. Vocabulary, part two. The word say here is used to introduce an example. It's like saying, for instance, or such as. Take a look at these examples. We could go somewhere close, say the park. You could take a trip, say, to London next summer. 
focus on the here and now. This means paying attention to what is happening in the present moment instead of thinking about the past or future. Examples I focus on the here and now when I read a book. She likes to focus on the here and now when she's with her friends. Good at plus ing is used to describe someone's skill in doing something. Examples He's good at speaking English. I'm good at swimming. What does it mean to read someone? It means being able to understand what others are thinking or feeling just by looking at how they act, speak, or move. For example, she is good at reading people, so she knows when someone is upset even if they don't say it. Bore means to make someone feel tired, not interested. Example, that long movie bored me. Math class sometimes bores him. Known as, this is used when something or someone is recognized or called by a specific name. For example, she is known as a great teacher. This park is known as the best place to relax. Exercise Transcriber on duty I'm really good at reading others. I always seem to know what's going on around me. I prefer to focus on the here and now, rather than worrying too much about what might happen in the future. I like when everyone follows the rules at work because it keeps everything organized. I like keeping everything neat and making sure that people follow the protocols. I'm definitely not someone who enjoys abstract ideas. I prefer things that are more concrete and practical. I value security, which is why I'm always careful and thoughtful with my choices. I consider myself a loyal friend because I never miss the small but important details. I'm great at organizing, and I like to keep everything in my life neat. I think I'm more of an ESTP. I love being around people and focusing on what's happening right in the moment. Being outspoken isn't always easy, but I find that it helps me express myself clearly. Let's play the video one more time. Now that you know who you are, you can take the letters representing extroversion, introversion, sensing, intuition, thinking, feeling, judging and perceiving and form your type, say ESTJ. What that means becomes clear when we look at the 16 personality types. ESTPs enjoy being around people and focus on the here and now. Their minds are quick, intelligent and outspoken. Good at reading others, they can solve complex problems. Routines bore them and they see rules as recommendations. They are often called doers. ESTJs prefer things settled and are not interested in abstract ideas. They value security and are also known as guardians. 
At work, they are capable of organizing, getting things done, and are loyal colleagues who don't miss small, important details. To keep things neat, they want everyone to follow the protocol. What did they say? Many ESTPs are natural leaders and centers of attention. ESTPs tend to have a sense of excitement about them. That is to say, one often feels that big things are going to happen in their presence and they will rarely be boring to be around. ESTPs tend to be oriented toward the real world and many dislike sitting still or just staying at home. They will often talk with anybody about anything in order to try and figure out what people are made of, what their talents are, who they are, and so on. Such ESTPs can sometimes hurt the feelings of others without even meaning to. Today we're talking about the ESTJ personality type. What about this personality type? What are the main characteristics that describe this type? What are the strengths and weaknesses of the ESTJ? ESTJs prefer focusing on things that um, are more practical, more concrete. This means that when making decisions, ESTJs are more biased to focus on things that make sense, on logical aspects, on facts, rather than emotions, values, and subjective things. Introverted feeling is all about what is important to me. What are my values? What are my feelings? What are the things that matter to me on a subjective level? So it is important for the ESTJ to be aware and conscious about this and kind of find a balance between extroverted thinking and introverted feeling. See you next week.